So your shop is a little, your antique shop is a little slow, or your booth is a little slow. I have a few tips on how to be a successful antique dealer. I'm Blake Kennedy with Kennedy Brothers Estate Services. Everybody thinks all they have to do is buy the merchandise and just put it in the shop and, and do a little bit of advertising uh, and, and make money. Well, it's not necessarily all that uh, because things become stale merchandise. You've got to you know, be able to think outside the box. It's not just going out and buying the merchandise, putting it in your shop, and doubling your money. Uh, you got to be willing to rotate the merchandise. You even, you know, if merchandise has been there for a long time, dust it off. You would be surprised on how many shops just don't dust their furniture or dust their antique figurines. Dust them off, move them around because same people come into their shop. They want to see something new and fresh. Also, just don't count on your local uh, economy, your local community to come into your shop to buy. Be willing to uh, have a spot in the back of your shop that uh, you can take photographs and put it online. That way you're not only selling out of your shop, but you're selling it online uh, and advertise that you will put other people's stuff online. That way there are people are coming into your shop to try and sell those items uh, to you or, hey, I heard you could sell it online for me and charge them a percent that way. Or also put, we take consignments in. You want fresh merchandise in your shops at all times because there's nothing worse than going into a shop and finding stale used merchandise that's been there for months, years. Uh, it just, you know, the word gets around. Change your merchandise, rotate it around, and you'll be a success in this business. I'm Blake Kennedy, and I hope that helped.